Welcome to Gumberg Library's video tutorial on using CINAHL subject headings. This is the second tutorial in our CINAHL series. For an introduction to CINAHL and its search capabilities, please refer to our CINAHL basic tutorial, which can be accessed on the Gumberg Library YouTube page. CINAHL offers a helpful index of subject headings that can be used to tailor your results to the topic of interest. CINAHL subject headings helps to standardize language in order to search the database more completely. To access CINAHL Subject Headings Index, click the CINAHL Subject Headings tab on the blue bar at the top of CINAHL's front page. You can search for a subject heading by entering your search terms in the search bar and clicking Browse. This tool is helpful for learning other ways that a database may refer to your topic of interest. While there are colloquial names for diseases, for example, that common name may not be how it's referred to in the database. For example, let's conduct a subject heading search for the term lung cancer. CINAHL subject headings will then suggest subject headings relevant to your proposed search terms. In this case, CINAHL does not index articles under lung cancer, but instead recommends using lung neoplasms. Clicking on a subject heading's title will show you how it is categorized within CINAHL. Think of CINAHL's categorizations as a tree. More general terms and concepts in the index serve as the sturdy trunk, which splits off into branches or subcategories. These branches separate further into twigs, which are smaller subcategories relevant to that concept. We can see there are several ways that lung neoplasms has been subcategorized under larger headings, such as neoplasms and respiratory tract diseases. To the right of each category, you will see three columns labeled Explode, Major Concept, and Scope Note. Selecting Explode tells CINAHL to search for every subject heading under lung neoplasms. The blue column that appears allows you to select specific subheadings of interest to you. These subheadings can be useful to narrow down searches to segments of the literature on a given subject heading, but if used too heavily, you run the risk of missing out on potentially relevant works. A good rule of thumb is to only use these subheadings if you're searching for something very specific. Selecting major concept will note that this subject heading is the primary focus of your search. This will narrow your results to only articles that list the subject heading as a major topic. Similar to the use of subheadings, selecting search terms as a major topic may lead to potentially relevant articles being excluded from your search. Only use this function if your search is very specific to one concept or subject of study. Clicking the scope note provides a brief description of each term. Scope notes can also include recommendations for other subject headings that may be more relevant depending on the term. What's great about CINAHL subject headings is that you don't have to only include one subject heading. You can combine them to build a more specific search. To do this, you can click Back to Terms List and scroll down to the bottom of the list, selecting Browse Additional Terms. You will then be brought back to the search bar, where you can search for more subject headings. Let's build our search to include a heading on immunotherapy. You can select the checkbox for immunotherapy on the left-hand side to add it to your search. On the right, you'll see that now you have two subject headings in the box. Before searching Select Database, make sure you change the Combine Selections With section from OR to AND. Using AND tells the database to search for articles that include both subjects. When you're satisfied with your search, you can click Search Database and view your search results. As discussed in our CINAHL Basics video, you can filter your search using the left-hand sidebar. This has been a tutorial on using CINAHL subject headings to build a search. If you have any additional questions, you can visit Ask Gumberg at the site below and contact the library.